thanks for watching if you like uh this video please you know subscribe share um you can check us out on facebook instagram google plus twitter and then we've got some great uh facebook groups rc madness customs and speed mobs mods and uh, we've got a buy and sell group rc overkill anonymous uh, really appreciate everybody's support. This is my Arma Sentin GT conversion. And this body is a Warrior GT. Uh, GT, uh, the long wheelbase version. That, hit, that fits the Kyosho. I'm using a Arma Sentin and uh, I figured that uh, the longer wheelbase would fit this better and it does. It fits it quite well. The body, uh, the painting is done by Easy Customs. Uh, the guy is awesome. Uh, the flame work, the tones on everything are excellent. Uh, you can find them on Facebook. And uh, I'm calling this the Sentenstein, uh, mainly because it's a hodgepodge of just XL1 parts, a bunch of custom parts. Um, and so I'm going to go through it, tell you what I've done, what's in here. So we got the Sentenstein internals here. And. Uh, <clears throat> So I want to give a special thank thanks to Michael Myers, Greg Brandt with GKA Custom RC Parts, uh, Bay Area Fast RC and Wig Splitters for their great advice, tips, and input. Tower Hobbies, great selection, pricing, quick shipping. Almost all these parts, except for custom parts, are so from Tower Hobbies. Uh, Natalie at Hobbyco Social Media for her support with this project and last but not least Hobbyco and Arma RC for their great products and this platform to actually build on. Uh, it's a Sentin based uh, you know base plate, uh, shocks, A-arms, diffs, I mean basically your Arma Sentin um, and uh, just go through the list real quick. Um, Shocks are using narrow springs, 400 grams. Front shocks have 100K. Uh, oil in it, rear is 80K. Front diffs have 70K, rear have 50. Um, those diffs have been rebuilt with uh, Team Durango steel uh, spur rings. Uh, it has Acer ceramic bearings throughout. Uh, you got Twin Tekken 2250KV Truggy sensored motors, Twin Tekken. RX-8 version 2 ESCs, uh, twin Aurora Pro approved 6,000 milliamp 2S 90C uh, 2S batteries ran in series uh, for 4S. Um, the center spool, top plate, motor mount, diff mount, all made by my German brother, Michael Myers. GKA uh, built machine servo mounts and braces. Servo is Savox Ty Tessman signature series. Uh, 0.08 seconds with 347.2 grams uh, torque at 7.4 volts. The Wild Turbo Fans, the Windy Trumpet, uh, RC Speed Secrets, thanks. RC Hornet 10,800 UF capacitor. Sega Customs battery strap supports. Um, the hubs are team associated. Uh, they're offset a uh, little far more in the back than the front. Um, it's got a XL1 front splitter, side tunnels, rear fuser that have been cut, shaped, mounted. Um, and uh, the body is the Warrior GT. Uh, Warrior GT foam bumper specifically mounted up front. 
uh, wheels are eight scale GRP Revo. Uh, we've got uh, different colors, but they're actually the same hardness. I think they're S fives. Actually, I've got an S seven on the back and S five on the front. Might switch those up. Uh, I do have some uh, BSR foam eight scale uh, Team Purple forty hard. Uh, probably use those when I'm actually going over 100 miles an hour. Uh, these have been known to explode, and uh, when you're going 100 plus and you lose a tire, it's not going to be pretty. Um, so let's. Uh, take a closer look and then after that we will uh, fire it up and uh, just do a little mild test to see how that dual uh, motor and mesh is working and if it actually works. So special thanks to Michael Myers. Really without his great custom work this wouldn't have come together. So this is a Custom top plate, dual motor mount, uh, diff mount, and I'll actually take this off the tripod, get you a little closer look here. He engraved uh, Trek 13 Racing. Of course, I didn't anticipate how I was going to mount that uh, capacitor here, but um, anyway. Now I'm gonna work. Get a little light in here. He also made that 32 T spool in there. So that replaces the diff. Uh, it's uh, so straight drive. We've got QRX8 version 2 Tekken ESCs, Tekken 2250KV Truggy motors, they're the longer motors, got some 6.5mm castle bullet connectors, the uh, wild turbo Trumpet fans in there running at 8.4 volts. And I've got them run series. I'm running them separately with this Trinity uh, 3S battery. And uh, you know, you can run those straight off a of 2S LiPo. However, I didn't want any voltage drop whatsoever. Uh, you know, you're running it, and when it needs to be getting the best cooling. Uh, your lipo is going to be losing some voltage, so I use the 3S. Got this. Uh, got a Castle B seating there, 10 amp, just kind of zip tied up in there. Uh, so running at 8.4 volts. I uh, have the servo over here with this. Greg Brandt's GK, um, what we got here? His custom RC parts. Aluminum servo, no flex. That's a Ty Tessman uh, signature series Savox. Servo in there. Uh, you may see the voltage meters right there. Some cheapo China Sower stuff, Alibaba Express. Um, the gearing, you may be looking at that gearing. The gearing is, uh, those are 34 T pinions, the Traxxas XL1 pinions. Uh, the center spool is a 32. Uh, we've got some Turnigy Graphene 2S batteries running in series. 6,000 milliamp and I kind of did it, it basically a hard wire if you notice I run this in series but that 
black cable just runs from the positive and the negative on that battery so that I have just the two leads going there and those are all 10 gauge um, that cap capacitor right there is a RC Hornet uh, it has 8 gauge wire that comes off it so I just tapped uh, the you'll see um, the uh, positive and negative running from here these are 12 gauge uh, and they run into a 5 millimeter bullet which is soldered directly to that 8 gauge wire and then I've, uh, I use the uh, 12 gauge Tekken wire supplied with the co motor combo it is censored so I've got the sensor leads here sensor motors um, got the Futaba receiver it came with the 4px which that remote is beautiful Saga custom parts got these uh, aluminum body straps they're great got four of them keeping that down got these carbon fiber plates hobby king 100 millimeter by 300 millimeter that's a two millimeter carbon fiber plates uh, these shocks are the stock sentin arma sentin shocks but these springs are the 400 gram nero they're nice and stiff okay so we're gonna try this out fry this up get the 4px and plug this in now I've plugged this in a couple times so I don't have the highest voltage, but uh, I just got 16.6. When I plug these in, I do get 16.7 on uh, both sides, so I'm losing a tenth of a volt, um, which is I feel pretty good with the, the wiring. I tried to wire it with the least amount of wire possible so we would have maximum voltage and least amount of resistance so let me show you these that this uh show you the speed of this these uh this servo It looks like it is working. Let's see, let me get down in here for you. A little more light. That was reverse. I think. That's about. Maybe a tenth throttle right there. 
so looks like it's uh, operating pretty well. Guess we'll find out when I get on the road. So this is a uh, Carl Track 13 News. That's how we drive. That's how we RC. Thanks for watching. Uh, please visit YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter.